had first heard about Kyle Kerwin's Boneyard Dunny when he did a gallery piece with Clutter Magazine to make an 8 inch version of the Dunny and it was well out of my price range but it looked phenomenal and I was immediately in love with it. So when Kid Robot teamed up with Clutter Magazine to come out with Kyle's 5 inch version of the Boneyard Dunny with the awesome glow in the dark, I was all over it. As soon as it launched, I hit it real quick, grabbed it because it sold out within a minute, I think it was. So you see here, I was able to snag 19 out of 100. So these are actually quite rare at the end of the day, but I love the design on this, so I had to get it. It is a resin piece instead of an all vinyl piece, and let's go ahead and crack it open. So similar to the last resin dunny that I got from Clutter Magazine, the, the boxes in the packaging are very minimal, and this one's actually better than the last one, because these are handmade, so everyone is unique. Being that it's resin, it's very uh, it's a very one-off piece, so it, they're each poured separately on their own to create them. So this actually looks way cooler in person than it did seeing the early pictures. So I didn't know if it was going to have that resin coating all over it, which it does not, so the texture really stands out on this. So Kyle made this based off an earlier design he did called The Last Willow. And at the top and the back of the head of that piece it had these skull type creations all over it. And he mentioned that there was a, a person who wanted a custom that ended up being this design. And then he mass produced it, or I shouldn't say mass produced, he created a lot more of them with clutter to create this piece. So the skulls are cool on their own, but then kind of the, the vertebrae texturing that goes into this. And you can see the arm of this dunny here versus the arm here, which is more straight bones. And of course, the ear parts of the dunny, you've got the skulls with the little bones sticking out here versus this vertebrae type structure right there. And the dunny himself does have a little spine coming up from one of the skulls. Let's look at the feet to see what that looks like. So yeah, you can see where it's kind of cut off. But this is super cool. and. The most interesting part is that while it is white right now, which matches the bones, it does glow green in the dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some light. We'll give it a spin and see what it looks like. Thanks for watching.